today I'll be reviewing the Maybelline Color Show lipsticks for you all. Uh, these lipsticks have been in for quite some time now and recently they have come up with their matte range as well. Today I have with me 5 lipsticks out of which uh, 2 are red and 3 are pink. Out of the 3 pink I think I have 2 uh, mattes. So uh, basically talking about the lipsticks, I think they have 32 shades to choose from. They have four ranges of colors, reds, pinks, purples and browns. So how you basically differentiate between the two is by this uh, little band in between. So you know it's a, it's a shade belonging to the red family and one belonging to the pink. Uh, packaging wise, I quite uh, like the packaging this time because they come in this uh, cute little black bullet. Then they have the shade uh, name mentioned along with the shade number which makes it very convenient to select when you have many lipsticks in your collection. So uh, the staying power is pretty good. It lasts for 3 to 4 hours with uh, mild snacks in between. And the matte ones are pretty better with the staying power. I think they last for more than 4 hours. To start on with the lipsticks, uh, I'm going to start on with the one which I'm wearing currently and it's called the Flaming Fuchsia. The shade code is M104. Yeah, so this is from your matte collection. Uh, the bullet is a little bit matte. Uh, apart from the other moisturizing range which they have, I think it's a little bit glossy. So that's the only difference with the packaging. Lipsticks smell amazing. I mean, they smell like candies. They have this peculiar vanilla smell in this. The first shade that I'm talking about, Flaming Fuchsia, it's a typical fuchsia color with a mild blue undertones. It's a must-have lipstick for the festive season because it's definitely going to add a lot of color, a lot of fun to your outfit. Uh, but if you are going heavy with your clothes, if the colors are already too bright, I think you should avoid this one, go for a, a nuder shade instead. But if you are monochrome, if the colors are subtle, you are uh, planning to wear pastel colors, then definitely go for this lipstick. It's a typical Barbie doll pink, I should call it, because it's really a very fun girly color. So what I really like about this lipstick is that in spite of being matte, this is very easy to apply. I mean, it just uh, slides on, it just... Uh, applies perfectly it has this powdery texture but it does not dry out the lips so if you are a person who's having dry lips or chap lips definitely you require to exfoliate your lips but you do not ne uh, need a lip balm beneath this um, again the staying power is pretty amazing i said it's more than four hours especially with the matte range of the hours and um, you don't i don't think you require a lip uh, liner also to line this because it's pretty easy to apply there's no pulling there's no tugging i think this is priced for 325 mm -hmm. the matte collection of theirs and the regular moisturizing range comes for 299 so that's with the shade flaming fuchsia let's move on to the next shade a matte collection a matte one uh, be belonging to the pink range it's called pop of pink and the shade code is m102 it's a typical uh, nude pink you can see i'm wearing it right now with a blue undertone to it this is how it looks like i think it's gonna wash out many people so it's better you try this before uh, purchasing it uh, this is again priced for 325 uh, i think compared to their other matte range what they have this one is a bit drying on the lips so if you have dry lips already i would suggest you to use a lip balm beneath or uh, properly exfoliate your lips because it is definitely uh, going to show the fine lines on your lips so just uh, make sure that your lips are properly hydrated and moisturized the staying power is again pretty amazing belonging to their matte range i think it goes beyond four hours with the uh, mild snacking mild uh, drinks in between apart from that uh, definitely if you're go, uh, going heavy with your uh, makeup going heavy with your accessories and clothes then this shade might balance out that you know it's not gonna uh, look too uh, over the top it's not gonna make you look too gaudy uh, it's definitely a very subtle uh, pink but uh, not an everyday wearable shade definitely i would say that uh, so yeah that's about uh, pop of pink let's move on to the next shade last shade of pink that i have today is uh, called crushed candy i'm wearing it right now it's the the code is 103 uh, as you can see it has a glossy finish because this is not belonging to the matte range it's a very uh, it's not a very loud color, it's a very subtle pink with mild red undertones but not that bright. It has a very hydrating, moisturizing property. I think uh, that is why it's very easy to apply even on uh, dry lips because I've already tried two mattes and I felt okay now let's move on to the moisturizing range. Uh, yeah, the staying power goes for three to four hours with mild snacking in between and uh, it fades evenly. It leaves uh, behind a subtle pink tint 
so it's not going to look very weird when it wears off. Uh, I think it's uh, it's going to be a good shade for people who are just beginners in wearing lipsticks. You know, a lot of college goers, and these are priced for two nine nine, so definitely I think a must have. It's one of those shades which you can just easily carry and uh, wear anytime whenever you're confused. You know, I think this is one of those mm -hmm. lipsticks which is going to balance out all your outfits. And uh, yeah, I I uh, like this shade pretty much. And uh, yeah, that's about Crush Candy. Let's start on with the reds. The first shade that I have is called Cherry Crush. The code is two zero seven. It's the one which I'm wearing currently, and I must say this is uh, one of my favorite uh, Maybelline Color Show lipsticks so far. It happened to be my first uh, pick up of uh, Color Show, and as you can see, it's a very pretty uh, carrot pink, I would say, rather than a red, which is definitely going to uh, flatter most of the skin tones. It's a very bubbly color. If you are a beginner in wearing red lipsticks, if you're a beginner in wearing bright lipsticks, I would suggest you to pick this one up definitely. Again, a very festive color, a very uh, colorful of life. If you're wearing something bright, still it is going to balance that out. It's not a matte one. Again, it's the glossy, uh, the moisturizing range. I feel, and it's price two nine nine. The staying power is same as I mentioned previously. It goes for good three to four hours with mild snacking and drinking in between. It, uh, does tend to bleed a bit, but that can be uh, settled with using a lip liner. Or by just dabbing on a little bit of loose powder, you know, just if you like the matte finish, it's definitely a must-have. And I think I'm gonna have a backup of this one. I'm really obsessing with this currently. So let's move on to the next red shade from the red range, and it's called Red My Lips. The code is two zero two. Now, as you can see, this is not a typical blood red or a bright red. If you are a person who likes to wear reds with uh, a lot of orange undertones to it, then this one is uh, not for you. It's got a bit of brown undertones to it, which makes it look a bit more like a maroon, or more like a brownish red. I would say more like a brick red. Uh, not an everyday wear again, but uh, for the festive season, you can definitely pick this up. If you are going very uh, monochrome with your outfit, then definitely this is a color which is really going to make a lot of difference. This is uh, again belonging to the moisturizing range and it's uh, priced at two nine nine. The staying power is around three to four hours with uh, mild snacking and drinking in between. I uh, honestly I do not use this shade all alone. What I do is uh, because it's a lot of uh, it gives a very glossy finish to it. So what I do is I dab on some loose powder and uh, followed by which I apply some other lip tint or some other lip uh, shade, you know, just to alter the red a bit. This uh, proves to be a good base of red for me because that is how I apply my red lipsticks lately. So that's all about the color show lipsticks. I think I I liked a shade of brown called cream caramel, but they were out of stock, so I did not pick up that one. And uh, the purples, uh, really, I'm not a fan of purple, so I just skip the entire range completely. But if you like browns, then they definitely have a lot of wearable browns like cream caramel, as I mentioned just now. Uh, yeah, other. Tones were very dark, and I think it's going to make you look a lot older. But uh, if you want, you can definitely go and check that out. Uh, I'm going to leave a link below to my blog wherein I have mentioned all these shades in detail. So in case if I've skipped anything or I missed out on something, you can definitely go and check that out. And yeah, that's all for today. I uh, hope you have a very beautiful Diwali, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Bye.